So this morning at 318, we received a 911 call from a woman asking for an ambulance. She said that her house had been shot at. Officers and paramedics arrived at the house in the 4200 block of West Dakota Avenue. They found a 15-year-old female who was suffering from injuries that appeared to be gunshot wounds. They took her to the hospital and sadly she died of those injuries. Uh, very tragic situation. Our evidence so far tells us that there were multiple gunshots fired into the house. They struck that address and the address to the west. Fortunately, only one person was injured with the, the number of rounds that were fired. Um, we extend our sympathy to the family. This is a very sad thing for them to be experiencing. And we ask that anyone who has any information that might help us during the course of our investigation to give us a call or to call the Denver Crime Stoppers at 720-913-STOP. That's the end of my comments. I'll take some questions. Um, do, you, do you think this, this family was targeted or was it just random gunfire? Uh, at this time, we don't believe it's random, just based on the number of gunshots that struck the residents. So they weren't going for the little the teenager, though, you don't think? They were I don't know who their target was. Okay, but you think they were targeting that? Home it, it appears to be. Okay. How many bullets? I don't know. Multiple. Was this something where it was in a car, a drive-by, or someone on foot, do you know? We don't know yet. Anything else? The, the teenager, was she uh, struck multiple times? She was struck at least once. Okay. And was she sleeping? Yes. Know? She was she, everyone was asleep inside. How many people were inside? Uh, there's six people who live there. Are you guys thinking this is gang related? We're not sure. Do you have any leads or any suspects? We have no leads right now other than the physical evidence at the scene. So Age and name of the girl? Very sad. Uh, she's a uh, 15 year old. We're not releasing her name yet. So you're asking for Help. Is Absolutely, we're asking for the public's help on this. Uh, any information they have that would be helpful for us to identify suspects would be great. Do you have any, any, any feelings about this? Um, family at, at home sleeping, little girl, not little girl, but teenager sleeping? Yeah, I wish I had more information. I don't have it. I don't know. Was she sleeping in a front room, back room? She's sleeping in the, in the front room of the house. How many people were in the home? Six. And do you know, can you tell us more about who those six people are? It's a, a family, so the mother and her children. Wait, how many children were in the house, do you know? Four. And then I believe there's another adult there who's a relative of the mother. Has there been any problems with that, with that house before? Any kind of We've had two prior calls to that address, um, nothing related to any type of violence. Have you been to the scene? Yes. When you, I was there, so, but when you see there was 20 evidence markers in the street, multiple bullet holes in the windows, the doors, everything. When you see something like that, what's your reaction of being on the force for so long? When you see something, is this still surprising to you? It's, it's sad to me that that's someone's way of dealing with a situation. And the tragic result is that now we have a dead 15-year-old girl. Thank you. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.